It was well after midnight, and I met my ride quota. Come on, you haven't. You have not. Push on. And we gotta freaking, like, get our rating back up. The more rides we take, the less each ride is gonna matter. But look at this right now. Five, one, five, one. It's not how this is gonna work. Klaus? Stella Buniel? Agonon. Or I can go to Azul, which is not gonna affect my rating. Carlos Wong. I'll fix what ails you. Hmm, I'm kind of curious about this guy, because he's like, like, what is this? But, uh, we need some charge. Oh, that's the bad thing about taking rich kids around here, too, because the gas is so expensive everywhere. Are we gonna be okay? Once we get over here, and the night ends, it's gonna be right next to the motel. And then we can charge in the morning, right? Okay. Carlos Wong. If it moves, it's Capra. He flashed a grin as soon as he saw me. My stomach flipped. He was kind of handsome. <laughs> like, really handsome. <laughs> good mood already. Why don't the cute packs ever pop up at a good time? Instead, I was seconds away from stress eating the whole bag of super sours in the glove box. Hey, Lena, right? That's me. Play it cool. Carlos, nice to meet you. I caught his eyes in the rear view. He seemed too happy for this time of night. Maybe not happy exactly, more like... Normal. It was like spotting a rare bird. I love birds. I see you've been doing this a while? He's kind of glowy. He's got some Bluetooth earbuds. Hmm. Huh, how can you tell? You keep your wrists very straight, RSI? It flares up every now and then. RSI? What is that? Is that like the driving version of Carpal Tunnel? Uh, do you have it too? No, but I can spot the signs. Hmm. So are you a doctor? I take care of folks. Oh, it's a little bit ambiguous. There are some good exercises for the wrist you could try. I can send you some videos. Thanks. Not a lot of people seem to care. He said it this way on purpose, okay? If he doesn't want to talk about it, don't push. Yeah, we are good at making our own little bubbles. I'm guessing you folks don't have great insurance? I wasn't aware we had insurance. Lots of ice packs and wrist braces. You know how they treat RSI now if you're on the Capra plan, right? They knit this composite weave into the tendons into your wrist. A Capra zoomed in front of me, and I felt a twinge below my palm. Like my body was rejecting the very idea of Capra getting in my bones. I think I'll stick to wrist braces. Uh, are you pro Capra though? If I say that, is it okay? <laughs> this is more neutral. Seems to me, it's more about getting coders back to work than anything. You'll have to adjust the weave every few years with another surgery anyway. Sorry, didn't mean to drag you into a medical lecture. It's interesting. And you're handsome, so I mean, you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> Glad you think so. Maybe I should start a podcast? Tendon talk. Or... Bone chatter. Blood gab. Bod pod. <laughs> Why am I always surprised when I get a nice pax? So, where are you headed? 
Well, this guy I know fell off a ladder. Might be a minor injury, might be serious. Won't know until I get there. Now he is a hologram user. A ladder fall? That's double the bad luck. Oh yeah, at least double. Yeah, this guy knows how to joke and he's pretty carefree. From the way he was breathing, it sounded like a bruised rib. So that's why I'm heading over at 2 in the morning. But enough about my problems. It looks like you're having a rough night? Uh, he sounds like someone I can confide in. Is it okay? I'm still really salty about Sam, but is it okay? He's not asking for my money. Honestly, it has been a little rough. Well, tell me. Mm, I don't like to complain. I bet people tell you their problems all night. Come on, your turn. My best friend dropped off the face of the earth. You know, I feel like it might not be such a good idea to constantly talk about Sebi when she's wanted everywhere, but okay, don't say her name. I don't know if she's ghosting me or... Sounds like you need a better friend. A bester friend? Ah, we've got too much history for that. I get it. Just... Stress is the biggest predictor of heart disease, you know? Oh god, don't say that. Now I'm worried about me. <laughs> I pulled up to a modest low-rise, haloed by the glow of fast food signs. Thank you so much, that was super quick. He flashed another smile at me in the rear view. I hope your friend is okay. Me too. All the videos on treating ribs are a little vague. What? <laughs> Do you actually know how to do this? Hey, let me ask you. Do you think it's better to be in a compression wrap or run the risk of pneumonia? Uh, wait. Videos? Yeah, I hacked my way into all the big hospital libraries. How do you think doctors learn this stuff? Medical school? <laughs> sure, where they watch videos. Relax, I have a pretty good treatment record. He's like some sort of under-the-table doctor. Maybe he costs less? I don't know, why do people want him? Cause instead of going to the hospital, he comes to you? Maybe? It's like I said, I help folks. And folks don't worry about what's hanging on my wall, you know? Anyway, this is me. Great to meet you, Lena. Maybe I'll run into you again. So my nice, handsome Pax was a nice, illegal doctor. Mockter. That's what he should call that podcast. <laughs> I had to admire him for trying to help people. Although I'm pretty sure he's getting paid for it. I couldn't imagine that health insurance was easy to come by in Automation City. Mmm, it goes back to how, like, people in the city don't really live well. That's why these illegal doctors even exist. I stretched my legs and heard something rattle on the floorboard. I reached under my seat. A bottle of pills. Zero Donald G. Never heard of that. Prescribed by my doctor packs to one... Jonna Johnson? Cool. Super legit. Extremely legal. Uh, if I get caught with it, might not be such a good thing, but I don't want to... Let's keep it. I toss them in the glove box. And hope to God, nobody... You know... Uh-oh. Oh! Whoops. Maybe I could return them to Carlos. Sure. <sighs> not a bad excuse to see him again. Wait, could he... Did he leave those behind on purpose? Hmm. 
Did he give me a five? If he did, I'll go see him again. <laughs> it's that simple. I'm a simple woman. Went above and beyond. Thanks. Did I really? All I did was drive you. Thank you. Eight dollars. Oh, lovely. Hey, I like him. Let's go find him again. He seems simple. Great! We're right next to this place. Lovely. Alright, let's go. Are we ever gonna make enough money to go here, I wonder? I don't know. Back here again. One night of Capra was enough for me. I was actually looking forward to the dreams this time. Anything to keep my mind off whatever was going on with Sabi. I let myself drift off, trying to prime my thoughts for the flying sensation again. And sure enough, I slowly realized that I was back in my old room. This time, I had a body. It was healthy and fast and strong and beautiful. I realized that I didn't need to fly. Just pushing my feet into the ground felt incredible. Like each step was the first breath after coming up from underwater. I felt like I was living for the first time. I couldn't wait to see where my feet were carrying me. But then I realized it wasn't my body. I didn't know whose it was. Someone thicker and taller and hairier and thinner, and I didn't know what shape I was anymore. I was looking at this body from the outside, and then I was looking at a lot of them. They piled up on top of me, higher and higher. I started to suffocate under the weight of those bodies. My last breath was someone's heel jammed into my mouth like a cork. Nobody saw me die. I woke up, covered in sweat, and grabbed a Danish on my way out. It was over an hour before I could force myself to eat it. It was actually pretty delicious. I grabbed a Danish on my way out. Ooh, didn't feel so good from the dream though. Bit of a nightmare. Obviously a little bit too stressed out if I'm dreaming about myself dying. I checked my phone for another message from Savi the second I woke up. Nothing. Okay. Hey! Lena, are you there? I'm scared. Please let me know as soon as you get this. I'm scared too. Your face is all over the city. I know. They set me up, fucking Capra. I need your help. I'm running out of time. Just one more thing, then this will all be over. I stole something, something big, but it's locked and encrypted. Oh no, Savy. Can you get rid of it? No, it's too late for that. I gotta stay in hiding until we crack these files open. Can you do just one thing for me? This might be the hard drive that Carlos, not Carlos, Charlie was talking about, right? And... Every time she talks to me, it feels so disconnected. Because she's not even like wondering, hey, like, why didn't you go pick up Jace or anything? It's just her asking me to do this and that. Ugh. Is this about Capra? You can't fault me for wanting some answers. Do not use that word! It's not safe. Just trust me. Can you deliver the files to someone who can help? Please. Hacker? Who do I know who's a good hacker? I have the perfect person, maybe. <laughs> I met this, like, quantum hacker? She can crack anything, apparently. Oh, that's right. Perfect, don't say any more here. Can you get to them now? What'd I tell her? Tell her we have 4 terabytes of data, ridiculously strong encryption, and no passphrase. Ridiculously. 
Tell her it's life or death that we read these files. Then what? Text me if your friend is for real. Then we can finally meet up. I'll send you a pin. You got this? One more thing. How am I getting these files? No worries at all. You already have them. <gasps> oh my god! I left them on the field grid I gave you. Oh my god! She's going into hiding herself and she's been hiding her shit with me. Hey, I'm not... I'm not happy about this. You hid your stolen shit with me? I thought this was a present. It was. It also happened to be the only device I had when I got my opening. Brand new, so untraceable. <sighs> Look, El Bunny, I had to think fast. Please don't be mad. I'll explain everything. Just get here soon. Good luck. People, people, people. Everyone's just shoving me around, making me do this and that. I'm not happy about it. Una. Well, Una's obviously right here. All things to all people. I don't know though, do I want to go visit Azul one last time before we go to her? No, whatever, let's just go to Una. Not before we get some juice, of course. Never not get a full charge. We have enough money every time for a full charge. Even doing one rod is enough for money, really. Got it, lady. Hello, Lena. Old friend. Loyal driver. Why, hello, Una, darling. How's reality? <laughs> Slightly better. I've been setting people up on blind dates. Have they worked out? I've received reports of two thrown drinks and one near fist fight. That sounds like it's working out well. <laughs> so, yes. Thanks for agreeing to meet on such short notice. Sorry if I sounded a bit frantic. Certainly entropic. I'm curious to say the least. In truth, I hoped I might see you again. You seem to make a timeline more interesting, rather than less. Uh, it's a bit too interesting lately. I'd love to have one really boring week. With great tips and a real bed. But... You need a passphrase. Yes. Uh, badly. My friend says it's life or death. Somehow, it always is. Okay. So, have you ever seen one of these bracelets before? Oh dear, yes. Very on trend, Lena. Feels good, is it? Feel good. That's right. Hot new social startup, recently acquired by Kappa for an obscene sum. Full access to blood data. Terrible privacy policy. I wouldn't get within 10 nanometers of it. I wasn't exactly informed about any of that. Okay, it was a gift. I didn't know Capra owned them. Although, judging by the levels of technology we've seen around here, pretty obvious. It just sounded fun to know something new about myself and maybe share it, right? Calm down, Lena. I'm not trying to scold you. Just take this as a reminder that all new technology is a meeting at a crossroads, a bargain. And you're sure to get something out of it, some new insight, some power, but... Well, you know the story. What deal did we make this time? It's not my deal. I don't even know the details yet, and that might be for the best. I felt my heart skip a beat, a flash of instinct, that whatever Savi was doing could get me into a world of trouble. Oh, could you imagine if the freaking cop like looked at my wrist or something and... Oh, 
I was in danger this whole time. Maybe Una knew I'd been wearing stolen tech the entire time. Maybe she had sensed it. I just know there are encrypted files stashed away in the bracelet. Can you take a look? I already am. This field grid wireless protocol is amateurish at best, a total pushover. Now, this file doesn't belong. Charlie Elliot dot dat? Yeah, that's his hard drive. Which, of course, is dot dat. <laughs> Charlie's hard drive. Una stared into her hollow space, murmuring to herself. Yes, this file is something else. Military grade quantum encryption, enforced by the underlying medium. Hey, uh, how much is this gonna cost? To attempt to read this without the passphrase would be to destroy its contents. You know, it's just light inside your little bangle. A tangle of photons, twisted up tighter than you can imagine. A tiny hall of mirrors. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> but there was information in there too, right? Light is information, my dear. The rawest, juiciest kind of information. What are they teaching in school these days? How can you read it? Easily. So you can just break into it? Oh dear, no. Impossible. Thankfully, I won't have to decrypt it. No, she's gonna pull some trick where, like, she asks her quantum self to find one that's already encrypted or some shit. <laughs> uh... I don't think she's gonna turn me in. Huh? Don't worry. What I mean is, I'm going to open this the easy way, using its passphrase. We... don't know the passphrase. Let me ask you something. If you had an infinite amount of time, how would you obtain the passphrase? Uh... Brute force? This seems not practical. Just keep guessing? Exactly right. My dear, you have the knack for quantum statistics. Yeah, I'm worried about my rating at the end of this, so I want to be at the top of my game here with Una's answers and questions. <laughs> but we don't have an infinite amount of time, do we? <sighs> the amount of time we have is extremely non-infinite. To speed things along, I'll try every passphrase at once. Oh! Using... Chutzpa? What the frick is Chutzpa? Math? If only... I use Chutzpa for other things. What is Chutzpa? This is more muscular. I still don't understand. There is a way of making the world... The world, I should say, go a bit fuzzy. Oh, she's gonna like ask all the other Unas to help out or something? It takes quite a lot of practice, but... Una's eyes went glossy. Ah. There they are. If she was doing some sort of deep quantum computation, it didn't look like much. In fact, it just looked like a bored pack staring out the window. Quiet! I'm working! I didn't say anything! You did in another timeline, very close to this one. Chief, <laughs> go blame me for it. Shh! I had never been scolded for something an alternate version of me had done. It felt unfair, but also sort of awesome? Maybe it was my imagination, but a chill seemed to settle in the car. Una was deep inside herself. Or outside herself, ranging through other worlds, farther and farther from this one. 
trying a different passphrase in each one. Um, shh, shh. She looks deep in concentration. Any luck out there? Una emerged from her trance. Well, lucky us. That only took a few quadrillion attempts. <laughs> what just happened? Or, you know what, I don't care. Did you get the passphrase? Oh, yes. I got it. That's amazing! Ah, but I failed so many times. Five quadrillion attempts and change. It takes a lot out of you. You really saw all those other timelines? Yes, not with perfect clarity, but yes. She did all of this within a car's ride, okay? Like, oh my gosh, she's amazing. What happened to Savi? Is that too... I don't know. Maybe we should have asked about Capra. <sighs> Aren't you greedy? I go rustling for a needle in the haystack of reality, and you want to know if I found any diamonds while I was at it. I'm just curious. I know. I'm curious too, about everything. That's why I got into this line of work. The past phrases, well, it's a bit melodramatic. They usually are. Somebody's birthday, somebody's anniversary. It's Pilgrims Crossed Airless Saharas. Pilgrims Crossed Airless Saharas, all lowercase, with spaces. Wow, that's... That's so long, how did you guess this? Oh my god. Better write that down in your journal, my dear. Just like that, I had it. What exactly are you going to do with this passphrase? Uh... I haven't decided yet. Ah. Well, if you'll permit me... I have the sense this passphrase might be... powerful. Capra's secrets? I hope you'll use it to shake things up. You're really into chaos, aren't you? Of course she's hoping I'll shake things up. Not chaos, exactly. Entropy. I just like to see the deck get reshuffled. Yeah. This passphrase might reshuffle some things. Well, you know how this works. You're in my debt now. Hmm. I know I am. Thanks, Una. Good. Who knows? Maybe I'll need a getaway driver. <laughs> it would be an honor. You don't even care what I'm getting away from? Hmm. Boredom, probably? <laughs> oh, I do like you. If that's all, then? We're right up here, dear. She's pretty nice. I know she gave me three stars last time, but she literally came with me because I called her out. She didn't need a cab driver today. I wouldn't mind learning more about how you do and what you do. Oh, how you do what you do. How you see the things you see. Una regarded me silently for a moment. Be careful what you ask for. And then, when this is all settled, come see me. Una scooched a bit, as if she was going to leave, but then, instead, she spoke. My dear, there is something I need to tell you. I sat here, scouring all those timelines. And everything changed all around us. In one 
a meteor crashed into Los Ojos. In another, a giant mutant worm rose up from below. A worm? Okay, a meteor? You can say it's some sort of a weird freak, like a natural event, but a worm? <laughs> a worm? Those weren't even the most unusual events. But through it all, there was a second phrase that seemed to almost match. This phrase wouldn't decrypt the drive you gave me, but it felt somehow entangled with its fate. Does the phrase, trust fund maggots, mean anything to you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How? I can't say more than that. I've seen what happens if I do. But perhaps I can say... Your emotions are not your own. Oh. You mean this feel grid doesn't really match what I say? Or like, it, I don't know, man. Mm. What does that even mean? What does... No, that's all I can say. Goodbye, Lena. Una swept out of the car. She didn't zig and zag randomly like before, but walked briskly in a straight line. Getting away fast. I had the passphrase. It was time to see Savy. Okay. My favorite of all adjacent Lina's. That's wonderfully high praise coming from Una. Yay, our rating's finally getting up again. Hmm. Pilgrims crossed airless Saharas. Thanks, Una. Gotcha. Was it possible for us to um, unhack or hack this from someone else? I guess I'm just not too sure how much variability this game has because we could pick whatever packs we wanted. So it's possible for us to never have picked Una, right? In that case, what would happen here? And of course, trust fun maggots was this thing. I've always got your back, Chica. That's what she told me before. Ah, oh, makes me kind of feel bad for doubting her, but she really hasn't been explaining too much to me. She always has my back. Do I have hers? Savy's location. Your contact Savy is sharing their location for you. Oh. So we can go to her right now, but I wonder if we can go check out other people first. Especially, like, I don't know, Gideon is here. Azul is here. Just to get a few more stories in. Gideon. Yeah, let's go to Gideon. Curious about you, little girl. And I want to see Carlos. Give me Carlos. Where is he? All quiet in the Cobb country. Nobody on the street. No lights on in the mansion. No sign of Gideon anywhere. Strange. Kind of late for her to be taking a ride? I hoped she was okay. In a flash, the gate swung open and Gideon flew into the car. Look who's come crawling back. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go! <sighs> Don't say ma'am. Is everything alright? No. Yes. <sighs> Look, I know you probably don't like me, but you're like the only one who can help me, okay? So you have to. I like you. You're a fun kid. Really? No, okay, it doesn't matter. Here's what's going on. 
I only have two hours until Yancy wakes up from her wine coma. She can shut me down remotely, and then I won't be able to move at all. So here's where you come in. I'm listening. My aunt, Yancy, hates her. She knows how to get me out of the suit. She's super good with tech. She's an IT. She's an IT manager. What, is she like a hacker or something? What, are you like a cop or something? Well, I remember how you feel about cops. Sally says the Kinder Mechs have a known vulnerability, and she's figured out how to exploit it. Her apartment's on North Brook in Little Guangzhou. Yeah, you see? Back to how cyberpunk cities often seem to be amalgamations of a lot of different cultures and places. Guangzhou in China. Little Green Complex, really ugly. I'll point it out when we get close. This is my best chance! But we gotta go now! And what happens when your mom sees that you're not wearing the suit? Oh my god, I'm not going back, Lena! I am getting the fuck away from my fascist fucking mother! Supreme Court won't emancipate me, so I'm gonna do it! This is a big deal. When your mom wakes up, won't she be able to see that I helped you? Not unless if we're slow. You're wearing a camera, right? We can delete the footage after I get out. My aunt can do that. Don't worry, Yancy won't know you helped me. She better not. Yeah, yeah. I promise, all right? Look, kid, your promises aren't worth anything. <laughs> You're just some random 14-year-old kid. Come on, we gotta move, please! Oh. This is a really big deal, Gideon. Have you thought this through? Yes! And I know way more about this than you than you do. I'm not spending another day in this... this... I don't want to stay in it, Lena! I need to get out! Why are there no options for me to help her? What will you do if you get out? Like everything? Start my life? I don't know, go traveling! Kiss boys, punch boys, go swimming. Is there a shield here? Like, can she even kiss boys? I don't even know. I could go in the ocean. Oh. You've never been in the ocean? Wearing this had sank. Why do your mom and aunt hate each other? Oh my god, there's not enough time in the world to get into that! Something caught Gideon's eye. A light had come on in the house. <sighs> Lena, we gotta go now! <sighs> Alright, let's get you out of this thing. Whatever, I got Savy's data. I don't gotta care about my rating anymore. As long as I don't go to jail. <laughs> yes, floor it! Yes, 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 floor it, bitch! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought that would sound okay. I took side streets to her aunt's apartment, just in case. All I could think about were the memories I wouldn't have if I'd been a kinder mech as a kid. No cutting class to go see the Buddhist sand mandalas. Pretty much every concert would have been off limits. And it definitely wouldn't have let me attend that anti-Capra rally in my prom dress with Savy. Oh, you went to prom with her. Aunt Sally's house was very green, and right above a chicken joint and nail salon. Guess the family fortune wasn't so evenly distributed. 
The teenager running the chicken place stuffed wings into bright red boxes behind bulletproof glass. Bulletproof glass at a chicken place? <laughs> a couple in black jackets, eating on the sidewalk, might have been on a date. I knew this was the right choice. We gotta help her out, man. Otherwise, she would have to wait for another four years. Mm. She is an intense activist. Why not? I was empowering the most intense activist I'd ever seen. And she's actually... The suit is a big proponent for Sophie's Law. But her, she herself is a big anti-proponent. Uh... What's an anti-proponent? I don't know. What's the word for it? <laughs> but you know, she's against it. A woman waved at us from the sidewalk. That's her! There was a definite family resemblance. Thank the gods. Do you want me to get out of the car with you? No, no, I'm okay. Thank you. I watched Gideon's aunt wrap her arms around the Kindermech shell and lead Gideon inside. All I could see of her was the bulk of the suit, but somehow I could tell she was crying. The couple on the sidewalk opened a packet of hot sauce and washed like it was all a meme. I wasn't sure if I'd ever see Gideon again. Maybe that was for the best. Yeah, you know, sometimes we just don't know and we won't get to find out what happens to people. That's fine. As long as she's happy. Five out of five. Lena, you changed my life. Words are not enough. Thank you. Well, I hope you lead a good life. Even if we don't get to witness it.